If you think it's important for educational videos like this to get out there, then please help us out by subscribing to the channel. Estate Planning Basics A Simple Plain English Guide to Estate Planning Concepts by Jeffrey G. Mersachi. Copyright 2020 Domestic Partner Publishing LLC. Note regarding legal counsel. As with any product, it is important to be clear about its intended purpose and use to avoid any misunderstandings. Specifically with writings about legal issues, it is noted that these materials are not a substitute for competent legal counsel. The contents of this guide are instead written to provide information about common estate planning problems, and it is designed for general educational purposes only. The contents of this guide are not to be construed as legal advice, and no attorney-client privilege exists between the reader and the author and or publisher. In addition, laws change frequently, and therefore you also are urged to speak with an attorney about changes in the law that may affect you. Circular 230 Disclosure To ensure compliance with requirements imposed by the Internal Revenue Service, Unless specifically indicated otherwise, any tax advice contained in this communication, including any accompanying literature, was not intended or written to be used and cannot be used for the purpose of avoiding tax-related penalties or promoting, marketing, or recommending to another party any tax-related matter addressed herein. For specific legal advice, you are urged to contact an attorney in your state or jurisdiction. About the author, Jeffrey G. Mersachi was born in Fort Worth, Texas and raised in Lincoln, Rhode Island, where he graduated from Mount St. Charles Academy High School. He received his bachelor's degree in business from Hofstra University and two years later earned his law degree from the same university. In 2004, he received a certificate degree in nonprofit management from Duke University and has earned his Legal Master of Estate Preservation designation from the APPS Institute for Estate Preservation. Jeff also served as a member of the Legal Council for the Estate Planning Source, LLC, a nationally recognized estate preservation company formed by the protégés of the late Henry W. Apps III, trust guru and author of The Living Trust. Mr. Marsacci has led his own firm in Raleigh, North Carolina since 1996, focusing on the areas of trust and estate planning with a concentration on helping his clients plan ahead to avoid problems rather than clean them up afterwards. He also frequently participates in national and regional programs to educate attorneys, financial advisors, and accountants on estate planning issues. Jeff and his wife Kathleen are active volunteers in the community and they frequently work with civic groups and other nonprofits. Jeff and Kathy also each received the President's Call to Service Award for performing more than 4,000 hours of service during their lifetimes. Introduction Enough is enough. People work their whole lives to accumulate assets, and when they pass on, they want them to go to their loved ones. Without delays. Without red tape. Without paying huge costs. And to make this happen, Smart people go to attorneys and seek the best way to give their goals life in case their life ends. And they are being lied to. Time and again, clients are being told by the attorneys that they don't need to bypass probate, that all they need is a will, that their estate is too small to consider a revocable living trust to circumvent the arduous, expensive, and time-consuming probate process. That probate is no big deal, and time and again, families are left with the death of a loved one, a visit to the attorney who drafted the will, and then the grave robbing begins. But why would this happen? Aren't attorneys supposed to protect their clients? Why would attorneys betray the trust of their clients this way? There are 25 billion and one reasons. $25 billion a year are lost to the probate process. A lot of it gobbled up greedily by probate attorneys who keep a straight face telling their clients to use wills, which turn into sly grins after the death as they started filling out probate inventory forms while on the time clock.